Dublin saw an emergency rally for the undocumented in the US take place at the famine memorial on the banks of the Liffey. The rally was directed at US Congressman Peter King, the demand that he take a stand and support the passing of the DACA. Uh, it's not the ni nicest and brightest of days, but it is, this is a very important issue and I can see many friendly faces and some new faces in the crowd. So thanks again for standing with the undocumented here in Ireland and also sending a strong message of support to the United States. Um, I'm not going to say too much now. I'm going to hand you over to Samaya. Samaya is a member of, our, of a youth group called Young, Paperless and Powerful. YPP for short. Some of the young people in YPP are undocumented, some of them aren't, but all of them stand for fairness and equality and for a fair pathway to papers for undocumented young people. So over to Samaya. Uh, but tonight it's not about us, it's about the undocumented young people in the US who really need our help. Um, you are here at a very special event. It's a twin rally in New York and in Dublin. We are doing this for a very important reason. Undocumented young people in the US are fighting for their life to protect DACA, Deferred Action for, young, for Childhood Arrivals. So basically DACA uh, was a rule that protected undocumented young people from deportation and let them go to college and have a career and no longer worry about that knock on the door. We all know how hard it is to live in Ireland in that fear, to, to be prevented uh, to access college, fearing police and not being allowed to work. Make the Road New York, you can all look it up, uh, contacted us directly to ask for our help. They, needed, uh, they need their Irish American congressmen uh, to step up and protect DACA, young people and support a clear D dream act. So can you hear us Peter King? We are here in Ireland telling you that we are watching and we want you to stand for the undocumented in the US. Do the right thing. Ireland is watching. Thank you. Uh, so I'm, I'm American and I've been in Dublin for about eight years, but I have two or three members of my family in the US who are undocumented. Uh, and then for years, my mother worked as an English teacher for the children of migrant workers from Mexico and El Salvador and Honduras. Um, so I wrote this poem about some stories that they experienced or that they told me and worked, asked them if it was okay, if I could write about it. Um, and it was just published in a book. Uh, so these are all true stories um, and they're for all the, the people in America who are so scared right now with what's going on uh, with DACA and so on. Um, so this is called Espero, which is from the Spanish Esperar, which means to wish and to wait. Night dark as a yawn as I arrive determined to commit the crime of remaining. How quickly the desert dried the water from the river. How quickly the desert became my mouth. Pick the lint from your t-shirt, bebe, like the blankets I lift from the looms. The factory air that turns to felt in my lungs. Pick an eyelash from your cheek and blow it away with a wish, baby. I held you in an airless back corner over five days journey for the indignities of this job, for your flawless English, your carpeted school. You could read the signs. I can read the rumors in the smoking area. In class, my child learns the word for travel. That is car, <laughs> that is bus, that is boat, that one plane. The teacher points at the drawing of the 18-wheeler, the truck. My child replies, that one is bumpy. I can stretch the span of your shoulder blades with my hand as I kneel before you in our kitchen. I choreographed this conversation all night. My nightmare is now a plan. There's word of La Redada, the raid. My children are effervescent with concern, acutely independent. They know the number on the fridge to call if they come home one day and I don't. Immigration is a big word in a small mouth. From behind, people in handcuffs look like they're praying, upside down. Their small empire is built and gone for a stamp on a form. I lift my hands to cup the bulbs of your shoulders. They socket in my palms. 
milk sits on the counter. How do I say, children, you are marked for your dreams now? How do I say, I will find my way back? I send them on the school bus to wander through every test and lesson and song, whether their home at the other end of this longest day will be dark and still without me. Without me, not a home. They carry it like books in their bags. Children, I walked through a desert humming with the deep industry of loving you. They should mark me, I think. I am stronger than they can even imagine, I think. The men arrive at the mill. I think, I can't think, I think of you. Right. Guys, this is a very serious issue, and really and truly, Samaya said it, and she's right. Young people in the United States are in the fight of their lives. They have to pass a Clean Dream Act. That needs to happen before December 6th. We are trying to influence an Irish-American congressman. His name is Pete King. He's a Republican, and he is so proud of his Irish heritage. This is the leverage point that we have. So a lot of the stuff that we're doing tonight is with the intention of getting it on social media. So please, if you're here and you're on Twitter or you're on Facebook, have a look at the things that um, pe people are posting here. Repost them, retweet them. We're using the hashtag UndocIRL. We're using the hashtag uh, DreamActNow. And we are tweeting as well at this Republican Congressman, Peter King. This is how we're going to make our impact in the United States. This is really about our brothers and sisters in the US and young people who are really, really fighting right now. Um, the next person uh, I'm going to call up to say a few words is Doha. And Doha wanted to speak to tell you a little bit about her journey with working with the undocumented in the last little while and why she's turned up today in solidarity. So, Doha. Hi everyone. Hello, my name is Doha and I'm a student from Manuk studying community and youth work. I'm doing my placement in MRCI and I'm here to stand in solidarity with the undocumented, especially young people. Over the last couple of weeks I got to know many members in the Justice for the Undocumented campaign and I noticed that a lot of people know of the undocumented in the US but not about the undocumented in Ireland. One thing I would like to remind people of is that there are undocumented in the US and undocumented in Ireland and they share the same issues but also the same hopes and dreams for a secure life in the country that is their home. For us who care about human rights, it was very disheartening when Trump was elected as president. He campaigned with a racist platform and when he became president, he followed through with a racist agenda targeting minorities. The world was so shocked when he introduced the so-called Muslim ban, but then and now we see many brave creative activists to stand up to his discrimination. Just like the people stood in solidarity with us Muslims, then and people are standing up for the undocumented now. The only way to win the fight is to stand up together in solidarity. So thank you for being here. <laughs> 